Biden tried this, it doesn't work. It rallies the base somewhat, but it's not going to win undecided voters. So whether or not you think it's smart, if you're a Harris supporter, this seems to be the closing message. Washington Post reports that Tuesday, Vice President Harris will give a speech on the mall in Washington, perhaps at the very site where Donald Trump gave his speech on, on, on January 6th, um, to continue talking about this, okay? This is a full court press on traditional media, social media, and with the, with the, um, with the, uh, Right. So the active co cooperation between social media outside of X, the regular mainstream media, the elites and the Democratic Party. All right. You think there won't be any blowback to this? You don't think that uh, these various institutions will lose credibility with half the nation that is either voting for Trump or doesn't think him as Hitler? Right. When scientists belittle Republicans, that reduces trust in science by Republicans because they recognize that the institution of science is being used to push not for scientific ends, but for partisan left-wing ends. Uh, um, cooperation of the dominant media between the dominant media and the Democrats to say, this is the story. This is all anybody should be talking about. Okay? So, first most important piece of artillery you have, if you want to drive that, is the candidate herself. Disrupted her schedule. She was at home in Washington on official government property. Fine with me, but some Republicans had an issue with it. Vice President of the United States changed her schedule and came out and talked at some length. We're going to get the whole thing because it's so important. So Hitler wasn't Hitler until about 1940, right? Hitler took power in 1933. He didn't start out by killing large numbers of people. It was only when there was a particular situation that he had the opportunity and the incentives to start killing people. So it's true, no, no Hitler, no Holocaust, but Hitler, when he took power, he didn't immediately embark on a Holocaust, right? The Holocaust happened in a particular situation. When Hitler was a kid, he wasn't out there torturing animals, right? He, he wasn't out there uh, killing people, right? Hitler, as a child, wasn't some kind of massive bully or, or truant. So Hitler only became Hitler in a particular situation, and... Donald Trump would only become Hitler in a particular situation where it was life and death and slaughtering the outgroup was the was uh, becoming clear it was it was a useful strategy or a popular strategy to try to protect the in group. There was here's the key anecdote: Holocaust survivor living in Israel, tormented by bad dreams. Around 1970, hears about a psychiatrist in Holland who's who's got a cure for this kind of what becomes known as PTSD, goes to visit the psychiatrist who prescribes him LSD. And then under the influence of LSD, this Holocaust survivor sees that in certain situations, he would have been a concentration camp guard. And then in other situations, he's the concentration camp inmate. We're all capable of being concentration camp guards, and we're all vulnerable to becoming concentration camp inmates.